Okay, today I'm going to cover my, I really don't know what to call it here. It is kind of like a Dutch bucket in the sense that it's buckets. I utilize dual root zone. In other words, I'm using soil in, in these things. And they have a siphon that floods and drain them. So I guess... I guess you could call it a uh, non-floating deep water culture, uh, solids removal, <laughs> um, biofilter that grows plants. <laughs> so what these are is I got I got three buckets here, and this is just a, this was my prototype. I've been using it for the last couple of years, and. Uh, what we've got here is uh, three buckets that are connected together in the bottom here, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit, because they're connected at the bottom down here, all three of them, as they fill up, once it reaches a certain level, a half inch, um, a half inch uh, bell siphon kicks off. They're connected together. The water comes in from this side over here, and it fills all three buckets. And when it reaches the right level, just like any other uh, uh, flood and drain system, it uh, begins to drain. So, using a siphon. So, what do we got going on here? Let's, let's, let's take a look. I'll go ahead and pull this out. This is, a, uh, this is an eggplant here that's doing pretty well in here. I've grown tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers and a few other things doing it this way we'll take a look on the inside here so what I got is so what I got here is is I got different biomedias that are that are in the bottom down here this helps uh, process the fish waste and I keep my plants inside inside these like this so off to this side over here what I've done is that I, these are these I just put in yesterday these are going to be cabbages let me uh, move that camera just a little bit these are going to be cabbages but I just just got them in here and what I've done here is because these actually sit down too low into the water, I've just set them inside of a net cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out for the moment. If you wonder how I set these up, take a look at my... Uh, Burger King dual root zone pot series of videos. This is the same way I did it. In fact, I got some Burger King ones here that these are going to be collard greens. So we'll open this up. Yeah, I try to move this camera just a little bit. There we go. So down in this one here, I've got some more biomedia. And this is actually doing some solids removal for me right now. This is the water going in. And we'll go ahead and kick off the siphon. One of the advantages that this, this has is because it's a, it is running the same basic way as a deep water culture would, but the the uh, the plants don't float on top of the water, therefore, as this drains, the roots always get more oxygen. That means I don't have to run an air pump in here like you would a normal deep water culture setup. The the roots get aerated and actually flushed. Even though this is doing my solids removal, I always have bright white roots in here because. The roots are always being flushed with fresh water every every time that this this thing goes through a cycle works absolutely fantastic i've had great success with this over the last couple of years 
Um, like I said, I've, I've, I've planted all kinds of different things in, in this type of a setup. The only thing I haven't liked is I wish I'd used a bigger pipe on the uh, connecting these things. I, I went with half inch PVC on the bottom down here and it, it's fine for the drainage. I mean, as far as that goes, it, the, the, the water flows back and forth between these buckets just fine. Um, but what did happen was the roots ended up getting so heavy in there that it sort of ended up pushing everything down and started uh, slowing down the, uh, the uh, drainage and the, uh, the amount of water that was getting over here to the far side. Um, the reason I don't start on the far side here is because if there was something to happen in between here, if I started on the far side, it would potentially flood and uh, that wouldn't be a good thing. Because uh, the way I'm set up here with a media bed over, over the fish tank type setup, the pump is actually sitting in the bottom of the fish tank down here. That means that there's a potential that if it flooded out that I would end up losing all my water for the fish. And I don't want to go down that road. So instead I hooked it up the, the siphon and the input is on the same side as you guys can see here. I'll take that back off. Move that camera back over just a little bit. As you can see here, it is draining and it does it is revealing more of the uh, media here. These are just dollar store scrubbies, bathroom scrubs. This is working really well. I also had shade cloth in this one over here and it's got all kinds of uh, solids collecting on it. That's a good thing. And this one over here I believe is more of the, more of the same. So um, I've done this system a few different ways. I, I've uh, I had a, uh, a uh, different filter set up at one point where I was growing my stuff in there and it worked okay, but it need, that one needed an air pump because that really was running more like a deep water culture. And uh, this one just really doesn't need an air pump. Like I said, because the roots are constantly exposed to air, they, they get what they need nutrients wise and the dog is barking. Hey! <coughs> That's my dog, London. I might leave him in the video. He's a bit of a bonehead. The little one that you heard in the background, that's Janie. She's a bit of a bonehead too, but you know, you gotta love them. <laughs> yeah, so if you're getting anything out of this and, and you want a little bit more information and, and, and how I did this, um, go ahead and feel free to make a comment down below. Boop, boop. And uh, like, share, and subscribe, man. Um, I'm pretty excited about this setup. It's been working well for me. Uh, That's the first time I've tried an eggplant back here, but the eggplant looks pretty healthy. Um, yeah, have a great day, everybody.